Hey everybody, Audiophile Barista here and welcome to episode 3 of Tiny Room Big Sound. Now in this series I try to set up a system in a small room that is able to play back rock and create a big sound stage. Okay, before we get into it, I have no idea how long this experiment is going to take so I opted to make multiple short videos as I go along. And in this third episode I am going to share some of my first listening experiments in this tiny room with you guys. I also realized that I did not even tell you guys what the measurements of the room are. So the room is 2 meters and 50 centimeters wide, but the space that I have for the loudspeakers is only 1.8 meters. And the length of the room is just under 4 meters. Now I don't know if this qualifies as tiny for you guys, but it definitely, compared to my room upstairs, qualifies as tiny for me. Now I am still looking for a rack to place between the loudspeakers, but I could not resist getting my first listening session in, so here is how that went. Okay, first up was the BMW CDM1 and obviously this was too close together. Now this is much better and the first impression is that they played very nice, but there was no depth to the sound stage, no depth at all, very two dimensional. After a little bit of experimenting with toe-in, it looked like having the loudspeakers facing straight forward, so no toe-in, was best for a pretty wide sound stage, but still no depth. The second experiment was about putting a plug into the bass port or not. Without the plug there was more low bass, but it also became less defined, a bit more messy sounding. And putting the plug back in gave me less low frequency, but it was much more defined and punchy. And that is what I prefer. Also, in my experience, ported speakers do not dampen the low frequency driver as well as compared to a closed system. And that makes the sound more messy on account of the driver not responding as fast as in a closed system. And it seems like this laziness also affected the mid-range a bit. Voices became a bit less defined and in the closed system it was easier to follow the lyrics. Now in many rock or metal songs I already find it hard enough to follow the lyrics so this was another reason to prefer the bass port with the plug. Ok before we move on let me tell you a little bit about the video quality because it's not very good. You see instead of making notes on paper I spoke my notes into the video and that was the most convenient with my phone. But obviously that is not my best camera. But because I was constantly changing loudspeakers and CDs, this was the most comfortable for me. These kind of videos already take up a lot of time so that is why I chose to do it this way and I hope you can relate. Ok, next up the Lin Katan and this is a big difference from the BMWs. Even though there was more bass in the BMWs, I did prefer the bass from the Lins. It had quite a punch and it did not have that papery sound to it. Now this is also a ported design, but I did not experience the laziness as much as with the BMW. But for rock music the Lins may be a little bit too polite. A bit more like a gentleman and that is not helping the screaming guitars for example. But then again the Lin captured my attention better than the BMWs. And on the other hand when playing loud Rage Against the Machine became a little bit shouty on the Lins. So this is where I preferred the BMWs. So I'm guessing this is going to be quite an interesting experiment. So by now it was getting pretty late at night and when I was about to stop I looked around my little room and noticed the little surround piegas. And I thought why not, it is an experiment so we need to experiment. And you know what, for this size I was actually pretty surprised, in a good way. These speakers are in my surround sound setup so they don't get played very loud very often and they never play center stage. But man, if you have an even smaller room than this one, you should definitely give these a try. They give you a much bigger sound stage than you would ever think. And also, when playing loud, they don't really distort. Which is a good thing, because these things are 4 ohm loudspeakers and they need a little bit of power. And as for rock, well, not so much. But I did end up listening to some different CDs than rock music, because I was interested in their capability. And I had a lot of fun with them, but for this experiment, playing rock in a small room, they are out of the race. Ok, so that is it for episode 3. This was about my evening listening session this week. I'm already now have been playing with this Kev loudspeaker that will be in another 
uh, episode and for this listening sessions I am using the stuff that I already have so this is the AVM Evolution version 1 preamplifier solid state also a power amp the Lin LK140 also solid state and over here we have the Nakamichi CD player OMS2 so those are the things that I'm using at this moment hoping to have a rack over there where I can place them and play around with cables and stuff much more easy also what I'm going to do something like this Kev loudspeaker has binding post a double binding post for B wiring B amping um, so I might use this one the Lin LK85 on the highs for this one or this can also be done with the BMWs and then have the LK140 on the base now some of you are already recommending to me what kind of loudspeakers I need to buy and what albums to buy but you have to understand that at the first period of this experiment I'm not going to invest in new stuff I'm just going to play around with all the things that I have learn from that and from and then go from there in maybe adjusting power amps preamps loudspeakers and so on so that was episode three if you like these kind of episodes if you like me doing these kind of experiments make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and the youtube algorithm also promotes my videos better if there is more action in the comment section so leave me a comment and i will see you in episode four